Hi, uh, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. I'm leaning up against this tree in the Appalachian woodlands of Southwest Virginia, and I want to try to do a little experiment. This is going to be called Nature at Your Door Shorts, and I'm going to try to make a series of short episodes. So what is this episode about? It's about this flower, and can you identify it? The first thing I'll do is I'll give you a clue and say it's not a herbaceous flower. In fact, it's a flower from a tree. And this tree is actually one of the tallest trees in the eastern forest. And it can achieve heights of up to 160 feet. In fact, I'm leaning against one now. It's clearly a beautiful flower with a very large pistil, many stamens. And I'm fascinated by the splash of orange on its petals that look like almost an artist's watercolors. It's a really really unique beautiful flower so why is it rarely seen well of course it's because it's on the treetops and even walking around here i don't think i've ever seen one actually in bloom i only find them when i pick them up off the ground this tree was used for railroad ties for furniture making for fence posts and at one time these were some of the biggest trees in the forest this one I'm leaning on is a good two or three feet wide. It was probably a boundary tree, so it was spared from the saw because all this area was on farmland. And this is right on my property border. The tree was also called the canoe tree because indigenous peoples would use it because of its long straight trunks to carve canoes out of it. In fact, Daniel Boone was said to have had a 50 foot lightweight dugout canoe. Myself, I had a large stand in a, in a semi-wetland area, and I cleared those trees with a chainsaw myself, peeled the park, and used them to build this handmade, off-the-grid, electric-free, water-free, totally off-the-grid, green log cabin that we enjoy here on my property. If you have an everyday guest, what is the name of the tree? It's a tulip poplar or a yellow poplar, or a tulip tree, given its various common names. And it's neither a poplar and obviously not a tulip, but it's a great, great tree. Future episodes, I'm gonna talk more about how I used these trees on my property to make a green log cabin. Thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. If you love all things nature, from fungi to plants and trees and flowers and ferns and insects and amphibians and snakes and anything else, my place is the channel to come learn. Thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.